When do I need to update my estate plan? Hey there, my name is Ron Payne. I'm the CEO and managing partner here at Apple Payne Law in Kernersville. And a frequent question we get from our current clients is, well, when do I need to update my estate plan or how often do I need to update it? As a general rule, you should aim to update your estate plan every couple of years, if nothing else, just to make sure that at least every year or so you are looking at it and making sure that it's up to date. If nothing's changed, you don't need to update it, of course. But let's say, for example, that you've added another child to the family. Maybe you've had another baby or you've adopted a child. Maybe you've adopted a family member who's going through um, where their parents are going through tough times. Those are situations in which you would want to update your estate plan. The second situation when you would want to update your estate plan is if you've made major purchases. So if you've bought a house, you've bought a second home, maybe you've got a boat. You know, if you're if you're making a purchase and the net benefit to the family is going to be over $10,000, you know, you want to make sure that your estate plan accurately captures what you would like done with that property. So for example, things that you might not think of, well, you've got a life insurance policy. Okay. Now it's probably that you would want to leave your life insurance policy just to your spouse. But what happens if you and your spouse are on a boat on a vacation cruise at the same time? Is that money okay to be left to your children in equal shares? Have you appointed guardians in your will? You know, do you, are you okay with the kids just getting the money at 18 and who's going to care for that money if needed for them. So even though having life insurance is a great thing, you may want to consider having a trust rather than just leaving it directly to the children, especially if they're young. And that way, you know, the money is properly spent over time. So when you've added to your family, or if you've made a big purchase, the third situation in which you frequently see clients wanting to update their estate plan is if there's been a death in the family. Well, that's not the ideal time to talk about. That is often a chance for families to reflect on, especially if you've had to go through probate. Does my estate go through the probate process or skip probate as efficiently as possible? Not only does probate take forever, it can take right now in North Carolina anywhere from 6 to 24 months, depending on your estate. It can also cost a lot of money. And even though a trust is a little bit more work on the front side, it's not only more efficient, because it bypasses probate entirely, it's also cheaper than, you know, you pay more upfront, but it's less than the cost of a simple probate to set up a trust, and then you don't even have to go through it. So those are the three key times in which we strongly recommend that. And I mentioned, I want to go back real quick. I did mention adding to the family. What if you've gotten married, right? Or if you've gotten divorced, you know, if you've added to the family, whether it's children or spouses or adoptions, what have you, that's always the time you want to add. The second time being of which you've made expensive purchases or you've added to your family's assets. Maybe you've started a business. Maybe you've wrapped up a business. Maybe there was a windfall. Maybe there was an insurance payment. Maybe you've inherited something. If there's a big financial change in your family, you want to make that change in your estate plan or at least review it and make sure that what you decided previously is still accurate. And then of course, Last but not least, if there's been a death in the family, that's always a good time to sit down and review. It's never fun, but the team here at Apple Pain Law is here to help you. We will navigate those life's important decisions with you and help you through them. We set free consultations for all of our estate planning matters. So if you'd like to talk to any member of our team about this, give us a call, 336-281-6928. Or you can reach us on the web at applepainlaw.com and we'll be happy to set up that free consultation. We'll meet with you via phone, Zoom, or in person in our Kernersville office to sit down with you and discuss how we can best serve you and how to make sure that your assets pass on to your family in a way that you intend. Not only how you immediately intend, but what happens if more than one of you pass simultaneously to make sure that it carries out under whatever circumstance may be. I hope this has been helpful. Like and subscribe here on YouTube for helpful and friendly legal content from your local attorneys. And until next time, have a great day.